Hi beautifuls, Andrea here. I'm really excited to be here with you today because I have a special guest and today my special guest is my daughter. Well, just for clarification, she's my stepdaughter, but I don't like saying that. But just so you guys know, some of you are going to be like, who is that? Because I've never seen her before. Well, if you've been with me a while, you have seen her. It's she was just so little. She was so cute. I'll try to link up above some of those videos with her when she was like a lot younger. But for those of you that don't know, this is Lily. She is 14, going on 15. And yeah, I'm excited to have her in this video today. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> She's back. A little bit older. A little bit different. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> It's cute though. I was telling her I've never seen her wear a hat like this and she's got the cute choker on and I'm just loving the whole vibe she has going on. Yeah, pretty cool. So we're here with the Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. Got a lot of stuff to get through. So let's just uh, get right through it. I like trying to start out with food type of stuff. And they brought a bunch of name brand cereals, so I was excited to see that. And the ones that I grabbed, which I ended up seeing at another Dollar Tree, this Dunkaroo cereal. But they had the family size, but I had already got this one. I wasn't going to get another one, but it is Dunkaroos by General Mills. Kind of looks like... I don't remember the name of it. Another cereal. It was a Pillsbury cereal that I bought a while ago, but... It looks like expired ice cream. <laughs> well, maybe. It says it's vanilla-flavored sweetened corn cereal with some kind of sprinkles in it. So, I mean, still for $1.25, it's worth trying it out because we were just at the grocery store today and... Neighbor and cereal is ridiculous. We usually, if we do buy cereal, we usually get it from Aldi because it's a lot cheaper and it's really good. Another one that we found was the Space Jams cereal. It's berry with marshmallows. It's weird though. I've never, like, I guess they're supposed to be like basketballs. Yeah. Looks kind of like Halloween cereal. You think? Ghost pumpkins, whatever else. Is that what that is? Is it ghost? No, it's supposed to be the rabbit. <laughs> it's supposed to be, but, but it doesn't look the like color, it. <laughs> the whole color aesthetic, I don't know, it's just, it does look like Halloween cereal. But anyways, we will, should we taste it? With milk? No, just like dry cereal. Okay. Just to like see... Let me show you this other one before we do, because I have thoughts to share on this. So I was pretty excited to find this Hershey Kisses cereal, and it is also by General Mills. Um, the girl at the checkout said that it was really good, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm, we'll see. And I don't really like it. You tried it earlier. What did you think of it? Um... It's not exceptionally bad. It's not exceptionally good. It just kind of tastes like uh, Cocoa Puffs. Which is, are Cocoa Puffs not very chocolate -y, chocolatey anymore? Because oh. I feel like this was not very chocolatey. Matt did not like this at all. Um, something about the texture. And I feel like it's the same thing with um, the Monster cereals. I feel like it's a lot different texture-wise than it was when I was a kid. So, I'm not sure, I but, yeah, I didn't really like it. So, I mean, if you want it, you can take it home with you. Uh, I'm good. All right, so, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just try it because I just... Oh, my God. We'll try some of the marshmallow and the, the other thing. So, I mean, there you go. That's what it looks like. And. Tastes like dehydrated mm. marshmallow. See, I like this better than the texture of the the Hershey. This is more like tricks, like the texture of tricks or kicks. 
how I remember it. It doesn't feel like styrofoam. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I feel like that's what it is, is trick cereal with like... Pretty much. Just different colors. They changed. Yeah. So, I would recommend getting the Space GM one over the Hershey one for sure. Okay. And what's next? I thought these were looked like really good. <laughs> so they Ooh. are by Frosty, which I'm assuming is a name brand. I don't know. Is Frosty like Fago to another state? I've heard of it. I Have really you? It okay. So they are these lemonades, and they're really big bottles. What are they? Liters? Where's it at? Quart. One quart bottles. This one is the blue lemonade, and then they had the classic lemonade, and then strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. So I thought these would be interesting to give a try, especially. I thought maybe you would want to try some of these out. Maybe we'll drink them later. We are doing fondue later. We are going to do oh. cheese fondue and dessert fondue. Lily has never had fondue, so I'm excited to have fondue and game night. Yes. All right. So, next. Nothing really exciting. I buy these all the time. Usually I buy the Reynolds. So this is the normal Dollar Tree brand of aluminum foil. They're sturdy in here. I like the Reynolds. The first store I went to didn't have Reynolds. So that's why I got that one. But then I end up finding the Reynolds, which there are only 25 in here. But I feel like the quality is a lot better. Let's see. I just totally annihilated this box. But I don't, well, I don't know. So that's brand A. Actually, maybe I've been doing this wrong the whole time. I mean, they're, they look... So this is the Reynolds, this is the regular. Because you guys, I mean, I know this is weird, but sometimes tinfoil is like really 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 cheap and just rips all apart but it little pokes all over it yeah so i feel like i mean they're the same size and this one's the reynolds is a little bit thicker let's see let's give it the pull test Well, you were like really pulling though. So, all right. <laughs> See my stepchild. I am not the stepmother who beats her stepchildren. <laughs> my stepchild beats me. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I, I don't know, you guys. I think I've been doing this wrong. I think I'm going to start buying the usual, like the Dollar Tree one, because you get five more sheets in there. And it's just as good. Unless your stepchild is trying to use it to beat not. you. I was not. <laughs> Alright, so tinfoil done. Um, I was like really excited to see these. So they are by Care Us. I don't know if that's a name brand. It doesn't look like it's a Greenbrier product. But it's like a whole kit. It's, so you have gauze pads for cleaning and cushioning, rolled gauze to wrap securely, and then you get the tape to hold your dressings. And there's 20 pads and tape of assorted sizes. For $1.25, that's like pretty good. Quite a few. You know, that is a nice little kit to start building um, a nice first aid kit to keep in your home or car or wherever. So yeah, I grabbed a few of those. And I don't usually buy aerosol type of, um, we got air fresheners, 
but this one, I think I was probably hungry when I saw this because it just looked really good. This is the Glade Cookie Caramel Crush. And let's test it. I don't know you guys it doesn't smell it smells okay but it's not what I was thinking it would smell like it just smells kind of like vanilla kind of I don't get any notes of caramel me um kind of random but I just thought this was a really weird thing to see uh, they had a label maker. <laughs> this is by Jot, and it's like, if you are like around my age, before they had the, you know, plug-in digital type of label makers, these were the kind of label makers we had, and you put this little tape type of thing in there, and then you would have to put the dial on your letter, and it imprints, like that special piece of tape. Um, I want it. You can have it. Yeah. Um, but the only thing is, I did not see any of the tape that you use in these. So I don't know if it's like a situation of they brought this out and maybe the tape will show up at a later date. Maybe there's some inside of here. I'm going to open it and see. I don't think there is. Maybe I'll check on Amazon and see if they have any of that special label tape. Better not go like the last time I opened something for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am going to try and really remember to put it. There's a video up and it, like I said, she was pretty little and there was like this little mirror that I couldn't get open and she was kind of sitting behind me. And a lot of times when I'm making a video with somebody, I'm trying to look at into the lens because I'm talking to you guys. So I don't quite see everything going on here in my peripheral and she was like struggling and going <laughs> like having a really hard time it took her a long time to open this thing and she was so excited when I watched the video back like her face was like oh, I got it open I got it open and she hands it to me and I'm like oh here you guys look how pretty <laughs> close and then she was like <laughs> So I got to link that video. It is an epic moment caught on camera forever. I'm so glad that we have that, that we can watch it forever. It was just really sad, but cute. So no tape with it? No. Okay. So we'll have to look for tape. So that's kind of stupid though. You know, why sell the label maker if they're not going to bring the tape? So. I do have a feeling maybe some tape will show up at the Dollar Tree. Um, random. This is a heat wrap. It is soothing heat for fast relief of minor aches and pains due to arthritis, bruises, sprains. I've been having a heck of a time with my right wrist. I actually have a bone spur. You can't see it, but you can definitely feel it, right? It's yeah. gross. It's but little, it's like well. right over here. And yeah, my uh, it's just been bothering me. My wrist is always sore. So I don't know, maybe I'll try wrapping this thing. It, it, they're showing it on somebody's back, but whatever. I did that. <laughs> but I think these things at Dollar Tree are a good deal for a dollar because they can be expensive in the regular stores. Um, Annabeth has a birthday coming up and they had the cutest stinking little kid fake nails. And they're so tiny. I just Aww. thought they aren't they cute. So they had the kind that come in these boxes. We have frozen. Where does where the camera? So there you go with the frozen. I have T Rex arms, you guys, and I'm trying to reach. Oh wait, I just showed you that one. And then they had a Barbie one. And they're just, I, they're so tiny. You might fit on my pinky. They're so cute. And then they had, 
And I think I got some footage. I'll put it at the end of this video because they had a bunch of them in this type of packaging. So I got her the LOL Surprise. They are These ones are press-on nails. I think they're all press-on. But these are the LOL Surprise. And then they had a bunch in this type of packaging. And I got the Unicorn. So just really, really cute. I think she's going to be really excited. Um, yeah, these are all press-on. So I think she'll be excited. I think this is the only pair of socks in this video. I think I actually put this in the thumbnail of my last video, but I didn't show them. So this is a new brand name showing up at the Dollar Tree Manichi. And these are just some of those like no-show socks. And I just think they're so cute. I love the flowers on them. These are medium large. Um, they fit women's shoe sizes 4 to 10. And they retailed for $3.99 a piece. So they had some other ones, but I just really like the ones with the flowers on them. So I grabbed those. Um... So the next things, these were totally new to me, and I was like, I was like really surprised to find them. I was happy to find them because I like having a variety of body washes, but at first I thought they were hand soap, but they're not. They're body wash, but they're the Arm & Hammer ones, and they have them in these bottles here, this like shape, because these ones are foaming. So they have them in several different um flavors I guess you can say but this one here is a simply fresh it's 12 fluid ounces and I grabbed it in juniper berry I really love the juniper juniper berry scent in the regular Arm & Hammer uh, body wash so hopefully it smells as good in the foaming grabbed a couple of those and then they had it in the clean what is it? Clear water. And then. <laughs> it smells like grass. Does it? Well, that'd be nice for spring. It smells like grass. Um, they had it in orange blossom as well. It smells. That's nice. That smells a lot better than this one. I gotta smell that then. So this is the Simply Fresh one. She says it smells like grass. Sniffing ASMR. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It smells... I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to think of what the scent is that's in there. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it's spring-like, but I'm not getting grass, but I, it's on the tip of my tongue, whatever the specific scent is in there. So it's with baking soda and aloe? Yeah. It smells like aloe. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe. It's, it's. It's kind of on the lighter fragrant side, so if you don't like a lot of fragrance, you might like that. Um, juniper berry though. Let's see. Mmm. I feel like it kind of reminds me of bubble gum. Juniper berry? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat this. Doesn't you like that one? Yes. Does it smell like bubble gum to you? Or what do um, you think? It smells like watermelon soap. <laughs> and I don't know. It is my favorite. Like I said, I like it in the other regular kind. So yeah, Juniper Berry smells really good. And okay, so that was it for the Arm & Hammer, but then I found some new Tag Body Wash. And I was pretty excited about that. And if you don't know, Tag is a brand name. Definitely more than $1.25 in the regular stores. Um, it's similar to Axe type of body washes. And so this is the only kind they had. 
and it says that it is a three-in-one, so it's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Of course, my hubby doesn't need shampoo because he doesn't have hair on his head, but um, he can still use this to wash his beard, and he can use it as body wash. Mm, that smells good. I feel like that smell doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily like just a man smell. I think I would use that. I like the way it smells. It smells better than Axe, that's for sure. <laughs> the smell of Axe gives me flashbacks to middle school. Well, some of them, well, because there's like a whole lot of different scents, but yeah, some of them are like so strong. Yeah. But I like, I like the way this smells. I grabbed three of them. And, ooh, ooh, all right, we're getting through it. I only grabbed one Easter sign so far. Um, probably will be the only one I grab, but I just thought this was so beautiful. I love the metal design that's on here. And I just thought that was so pretty. Very pretty. It would look pretty like underneath a wreath, I think, or just on its own. So, yeah, and they had some other ones. I will try to find it on my phone and put it at the end of this video. Because this stuff I'm showing you guys is actually from, like, two weeks ago. So, some of it, I'm like, LOL surprise! I don't remember getting that. Okay. Very shiny bottle. Um, I found some more of the Suave Conditioners. Of course, they don't have the shampoo, but that's okay because I use a lot of conditioner. So the first one here is, and I think I might have found the same scent in my last video. Um, well, <laughs> I opened it and it jumped on me. It jumped on her. Yes. So it's very jumpy conditioner. Use at your own risk. This one is the Collagen Infusion, and I'm pretty sure I did haul this in my last video. So, I'm glad I got another one. And then, oh, I got two of them. Oh, I like the way it smells. That's probably why I grabbed more. Because I think this one smells really, really nice. And I actually did use it um, when I took a shower yesterday, and I like it. I like it a lot. I look at a lot. I look at a lot. The next thing I'm going to show you is a pole. Well, that's what the rod's for. Yes. <laughs> but the pole is for, and I was really excited to see this stuff because I think these are great things to find at the Dollar Tree. And maybe this is a sign of, you know, that 25 cent increase is going to bring like just even better stuff because I think this is such a great find. So the pole, you know, $1.25. And then there are attachments for the pole. So you have this little rake here. Um, it's a leaf rake. It is plastic, but I think this is really good quality for $1.25. And this is like something I would use in my flower beds when I'm needing a smaller leaf rake, not like the big wide one you use on your lawn. And you want to show them that? It's and, a little handheld. Oh. What are they? I mean, they're calling it a rake too. But this one is metal, you guys. I mean, I that it is really, well, you can do it as handheld. But, see? So all of these fit onto, you want to do it? Onto the pole. And then there's a third attachment. So three attachments were available. I got all the attachments you could get at this time. And then you have your like trowel, mm -hmm. garden shovel. So really, really cute. I don't recommend it because it doesn't have the thing what? right there to click onto it. So it just kind of oh. slides off. I wonder if there's... Hmm. So don't put the rake in the pool. Oh, no. You have to... Oh. You oh, have right. to actually turn it. Oh. So, yeah. That's really, it. really cool. That's cool. 
especially like if you have a little one and you want you don't want them using like your big heavy duty type of yard stuff I think feel like these are a good starter set for somebody or like I said somebody who just has a small space that they need to maintain that's great I'm impressed I'm impressed Dollar Tree <laughs> all right so we are on to our last bag <laughs> Stuff falling everywhere. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I was really happy. Uh, Tony, if you're watching, thank you for putting me on track of these brown bunnies. I have the white bunnies that they've been putting out around Easter for a couple years, but they finally had the brown ones. Um... And to, by Tony, I mean from Creative Chi, Creative Chica Halls. So go check her out. But they, yes, they have brown bunnies. They're so cute. They stand on their own. I know. I love these. I think they are just really adorable and really cute for any Easter basket. But I just got them for me because I like them. I really like them. <laughs> Funny. She's like, mm hmm. <laughs> Let's just keep going, you weird person. So, these, you want to show them that one? I'll show them this one. I don't know what it is. These are Trolls Jumbo Lip Balm. You just got to read what it says because I don't necessarily know what it is all the time. So, it's Jumbo Lip Balm, and then you get like three different little toppers for the lip balm, or they can be like little finger puppets. But I just thought these were so cute. Especially if you have a little one that loves trolls. So cute. And what's the... I think this one's name is Poppy. Yeah. That's the only one I know. But really cute. So this one is... Um, are they different flavors? Yeah. Strawberry flavored. And then this... Mango. The one she had is mango flavor. So really, really nice for Easter baskets. For $1.25. I like that. Super cute. I was really excited to find these. And these are Duraflame fire starters. These are for indoor or outdoor fires. They're at home or on the go wood fire starters. And this is the package they come in. It's a nice size brick of them for $1.25. And it's 4.5 ounces. I grabbed like 10 of these because we do use these sometimes at home for our fire pit needs, but we actually have these because um, for emergency situations, if we ever need it, like these are good for emergency bug out bags or emergency kits, things like that. You just never know when you're gonna need to be able to build a fire. So I've actually been on the hunt. They had a, they used to sell a different brand I can't remember the name of it, but um, we used to buy it every year that they would bring it out around springtime, and I haven't seen them in a couple years, so I was glad to see these. So it's going to take those? Yeah, probably. Um, really, really cute napkins. I just, I really, I don't usually go down the aisle with the, like, wedding type of decorations or the baby shower decorations. Um, but for whatever reason, I did this time, and I found these really cute bee napkins. And for those of you who are into uh, de decoupage, is that what it's called? Decoupage? Decoupage? I don't know. Mer no, Marina would know. No, there's a way you can, like, take like something cute off paper, like a nap oh. paper napkin, and then there's a something you brush over it to make it I don't know it's really it's really cool but I thought the people that do that would love these it says be positive and there are 14 in each of these so I grabbed a couple of those for springtime they had some scarves and I had to get this one here with the butterflies and the bees all over it 
Um, I don't really like the infinity scarves at Dollar Tree. Um, cause I don't know. They're just like too, too small, but this is cute. You can tie it onto your purse, your bag, your backpack. You can use it in your hair, which is what I probably will do. But I just thought it was so pretty. I love butterflies. Um, Easter decor. I did grab this because I thought it was really pretty. Again, it has the butterfly on it. I like the sim simplicity of it. I like the gray around there. And they had some that said some other things. I will put that at the end of this video. Uh, more stuff to just kind of keep in our emergency kit pantry area. And this is for arthritis. Actually, I might try this on my wrist. This is for arthritis in sport. It's a penetrating heat rub. It has Epsom salt plus alcohol for rubbing and soaking. So that's what the bottle looks like. And I've never tried liquid like this. So I'm like maybe the liquid penetrates like a lot better. I just, I need some relief. What you got there? Multitask facial masks. Yeah, you guys, they have these masks and there are, so it's a three piece set. I'm open it up to show you. It says results in 20 minutes and target skin concerns, multitasking facial mask. There's one detoxify self-heating mask, which is a cream mask, one moisture facial cream mask, and one purify facial mud mask. So you're actually getting three masks in here for $1.25. And these are by Miss Spa, which I believe is a name brand. Give you another shot of it. And yeah, so I was excited to find those. Those make a really nice gift basket um edition or i like using facial masks so so i grabbed some stickers and i just had to get them because of the isn't there a motorcycle in this yes yeah so i got it because of the motorcycle and the car i just i liked the look of it and then i really liked the look of the second page stickers they're That's just like huge. nostalgia. <laughs> Very huge. nostalgic looking. Yeah. And then the last page is just some um, letters. But I just I thought those, those were cool. Do you like them. those? Yeah. And the last thing I got was they had some chapsticks. Some tinted moisturizing chapsticks. So there we go. Um, I thought I had another one. But you guys, who knows? So I knew I had another one of those chapsticks and I found it after we stopped rolling this video and I realized I have some more stuff I need to show you in this haul. So I did find the other chapstick and this one is in uh, Very Berry. So yes, I'm excited to use that one. They're saying that's what like the tint color is. But yeah. Um, I really like these Chloraline bleach, bottles of bleach, and I mean, not because they're anything exceptionally different than a regular bottle of any name brand bleach or any brand bleach, but I like the size of it because this fits under my sink better, um, than a big jug of it, but usually I get the kind that comes in the green bottle. This time they had it in this aromas scent so i thought i would try that out i'm not gonna sniff it not gonna okay. sniff the bleach okay. no why no why because you may like burn your nose well i won't tell my nose yet, <laughs> probably but yeah i don't know and i love the pink bottles I love pink. and then this is the last bag of stuff i promise um, I did get some more stickers for Valentine's Day. Oh, stinks. <laughs> but I thought they were so cute with the bee on there. And I think they're, oh yeah. So here's 
the what the front and the back. You get two sheets on here. So I just thought those were really cute. And I do. I like the Love Stinks one with the poo. And then I liked that one there. You're beautiful. Just cute. Cute. And then they had the spring uh, line of pot holders and towels. So I was happy to see those. So let's see. They had this here. And I love it with the butterflies. I love the colors that are on here. And then to go with it, they also had this one with the butterflies. So I thought those were cute together. And then I got the two pot holders set to go with them. They're so, so cute. And these are the microfiber towels that I've told you guys before. I just basically use them for decoration. Um, I really, I prefer like actual towel towels, but anyway. Oh, and I did have the uh, oven mitt. And then they had this set here that's just so pretty. That's what those look like. And I got the pot holders to go with that too. Love them. And I did find some other make. Oh, look. There's a third one. I got three of these chapsticks. Telling you guys, sometimes I forget what I even got. But here are all three of them together. The third one is Pretty in Pink. So we have Pretty in Pink, Very Berry, and Peachy Keen. And I'm pretty sure those were the only three colors that they had. And... Am I boring you? I know. <laughs> She's falling asleep no. in my Dollar Tree haul, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, they had some more NYX uh, lipsticks, lip creams, they're calling them. They had them in the color Vancouver and Manil Manil Manila. 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 Man Manila. Um, so that's what they look like there. I, I'm going to save that one for spring and summer. I think that's really pretty. And last things, I got this Mentos air freshener. Matt really likes these Mentos air fresheners, and I do too. I think they last a decent amount of time, especially if you just hang them in the plastic. But I've never seen this scent before, the green apple. So that's why I picked up one of these. And I don't want to open it. I can't smell it through the packaging, but I'm sure it's going to smell good. There's a lot of sniffing in this video. Yes. Like you said, ASMR sniffing. And the last things I got, I thought these were pretty cool, are these work lights. And they have a magnet on them, you guys. So if you, I guess you're working on the car or these, I think this would be a good emergency kit type of light. Um, you could like pop it somewhere on metal that's on the car if you needed some light what, under the hood. Um, I don't know how much of cars are metal anymore. I know like the actual body is not, but I just like to, you can use this in the garage and you can like stick it to if you have like metal um, shelving units in the garage. But yeah, it's 150 lumens and has an on off switch I don't I can't oh three triple-a batteries so yeah I grabbed two of those and now that is everything in this haul that's everything so yeah I just had to do a little redo of the ending so I just want to thank you guys for being here hanging out with us I want to thank Lily for being here with me in this video and wanting to do this video with me Hopefully she'll do some more with me. And yeah, that is it. If you like these types of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up, please. I would appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed, I would love to have you as part of our little trucker family over here. And that's all I got, folks. Until next time, as always, stay safe and be blessed. Bye.